What's up YouTube, Jetforth here, and today we are going to be taking a look at my LMG build. This build comes with laser beam accuracy, which yes, this is on console. And the weapon handling and accuracy is so good on this that you could basically thread a needle with it. We also have two healing talents, one activated together, it brings back the olden days of safeguard. Would you like to see that again? Because it happens kinda fast. Here it is. It also has two different talents that will refill your ammo and give you free ammo which pretty much will let you fire a forever. It is also stacking a fair amount of explosive damage, which makes for a lot of fun, in my opinion. You will also be able to take out the big boys in the raid with five stacks plus one hit at the end. In regular gameplay or challenge mode, it takes about four stacks to take them out. In the shooting range, we are getting 1 million DPS off of one target, 1 1.6 after shooting two. I know everybody hates the shooting range, which is why I didn't clickbait or put any of this in the title. Smash like. Now the whole idea I had behind this build was for blatantly just accuracy because what's the point of having really high DPS and insane headshot damage when you can't hit a damn thing with it, right? Everything else that comes with it just it happened and it made it an incredible build for pc players there are a few changes you would want to make probably because you won't need them for pvp a few changes you can make and also there is a few changes for the raid that you will want to swap in and out obviously between a regular gameplay and raid gameplay and i will explain them into the build oh and if you want extended gameplay i did post a video yesterday of me completing the first part of the raid with this build take note that in the raid our damage is decreased by about 15% and the link will be in the description. But now I'm done, I'm shutting up, let's get to the build and all of the fun equipment and whatnot. For our specialization, we will be using the Demolitionist for these main perks. X stat armor kit, supplementary talent, armor kits repair 70% of damage and boost weapon handling by 100% for 15 seconds. On completion, an additional 30% repair occurs. Explosive ordinance, 25% increase explosive damage, affects explosive grenades, kills and effects. Onslaught, 15% increased light machine gun damage. And crisis response, when armor is reduced to zero, refills all main weapon ammo, which there is a cooldown on this. I don't remember if it's 10 or 20 seconds, but there is a cooldown now. And one final thing about this specialization, even though the gunner is coming out, I would still stick with this because of the explosive damage and whatnot. On to the build itself, we are running a 411-2. Armor is 277,400, health 113,852, and skill power 64 which we're making up with some of that with batteries. For our main weapon, we are using a military M60 E4, which may look familiar to you if you have seen my Seeker Mind build because I sacrificed it for this build against my better judgment, but she had the rolls that I needed other than steady handed. Landing a shot adds a stack of 2% weapon handling. Max stack is 15. At max stack, each shot landed has a 5% chance to consume the weapon handling bonus and refill the magazine. The main reason why I chose this is for the amount of weapon handling that you get. It was just refilling the magazine was a definite extra bonus for using this. The second talent extra plus 20% magazine capacity is something that you will definitely want to have on here. You could go with something like Allegro, but from what I noticed, a lot of times when you get down to those final 20 rounds, that's when you will consume the weapon handling and you'll get your extra rounds. If you even look at the very beginning of the video when I showed it, I was down to my final round when that actually procced. It will and can happen at any time, but that extra 20 rounds I feel is a definite really good safeguard in all honesty. And finally, we have a Rooted. While equipped and in cover, all skill damage and healing is increased by plus 25% for 10 seconds. Buff is lost when exiting cover can occur once per 25 seconds. I am using this in pair with Safeguard on the backpack, and when they proc together, that is how I'm getting that instantaneous healing, like the old school Safeguard. And if you aren't proccing them together, pretty much no matter what, you are going to have really fast, decent healing, as opposed to just regular very slow not enough on to the weapon mods for the scope we are using a small rds scope negative five percent accuracy plus 15 percent stability i know you would look at the negative five accuracy and be like but 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 jet 
I'm pretty sure we're already maxed out on accuracy. If you look how small the reticle is, I don't think it gets any smaller than that. So the plus 15% stability is what we definitely went for to help control the weapon. For the magazine, calibrated link, plus 15% stability. On the under rail, we are using an angled grip, plus 10% stability. And finally, for the barrel, we are using the Compensator 762, plus 10% stability mod. Now, if you are on PC, you may want to screw around with all of this stuff and put on plus damage to elites, or plus to this, plus to that, because you don't need the same amount of accuracy as us counter council peasants so this is you're going to want to play around with this stuff council players this is what you're going to want to do to stabilize the crap out of an lmg for our secondary weapon we are using the merciless talents binary trigger this weapon is equipped with a binary trigger that fires on trigger pull and release Guerrilla Warfare. Pulling the trigger fires primer rounds that stay embedded in an enemy. Releasing the trigger fires detonator rounds that detonate all primers on the enemy it hits. I'm sure I don't really need to explain this. Most people know what this does. Each primer detonated grants plus 75% damage per primer detonated. Only one enemy can have primers and at most five primers can be embedded. And the Holster Talent Brutality. While holstered, landing a shot has a 5% chance to deal plus 20% damage as explosive damage. I do have this down to pretty much a science, which it is about 18 to 20 rounds you will get an explosive round. If you do miss that round, you're gonna miss that round, so make sure you're hitting all your shots and don't be a uh, scrub like me. <laughs> for the sidearm, we are using a D50. Nothing too special here, just mainly for in rhythm. While equipped, enemy kills have a 5% chance to refresh. Active skill cooldowns can occur once every 60 seconds. I know it says while equipped, meaning you should have it on but it, it still works as a holstered talent i don't know uh, maybe i'm dumb about it and that's what they mean but yeah it works and that's it nothing special and it looks really cool with the uh new dark hour skin yeah there you have it. On to armor. For the mask, we are using a China Light Industries Corporation for the plus 10% explosive damage. Attributes, plus 40% damage to elites, plus 3,309 health on kill. I would like to see that differently, but I am stuck with what it is. Maybe hazard protection for the raid, or actual armor or health. Talents, hard hitting, plus 10% damage to elites. If you want this for PvP, you might just want to put on explosive damage but we're only really running 50% damage to elites on this build, so you would might just want to leave it for the dark zone. Other than that, no mods, nothing else, pretty straightforward. For the chest piece, we are using a Gila guard. We're actually using a two pieces of Gila for the plus 5% total armor and plus 20% hazard protection. Attributes, plus 30,435 armor. This is a very mid-maxed roll. It is way up there. Health, plus 18,293. And offense, Offensive plus 7.5 crit hit chance. The talent Unbreakable. 70% of max armor is repaired when your armor is depleted. Armor kits used within the next 7 seconds are not consumed. This is a very, very strong talent and makes us very tanky and lets us proc crisis response nearly whenever we want and if we want to play aggressively and go out and break our armor. Free reloads and free ammo nearly whenever we want it. On this particular chess piece, we get 3 mod slots, 2 defense, 1 utility. For the first defensive mod, we are using using plus 7,179 health, 6% 6 poison resistance, 16% shock resistance. The utility mod, plus 64 skill power, plus 309 hive skill power, and plus 276 seeker skill power. The final mod slot is defensive system mending. 6,494 armor, 2% protection from elites. Now don't forget, these mod slots are all changing, and they're going to just go to colors, as opposed to system mending, utility, and so on. So we'll be able to put whatever we want here, just not generic mods. Next up is the holster. We are actually using two pieces of Araldi Holdings for the plus 10% accuracy and the plus 10% headshot damage. Attributes, 40,003 health. Modified, that is very, very high as well. Very well mid-maxed. I am not sure how much higher you can get. For the talents, destructive, plus 20% explosive damage. There is an offensive protocol mod slot on here, but I can't use it because I need to stay under four because of safeguard, which up 
next is the Backpack, which is a Petrov defense group for the plus 10% LMG damage. Attributes, 4% cooldown reduction, 13,123 health, plus 2.5% crit hit chance, and plus 24,755 armor, which is decently high. I actually would like to see a better backpack, maybe without the crit hit chance and three blues and one yellow, so I can actually put an offensive mod onto my holster, but it is what it is, rolled how it did, hopefully I'll get a better one, but this is kind of meh, not gonna lie. For the talents, we are using Safeguard. Killing a target grants 150% bonus to repairing and healing effects for 5 seconds. This can occur once every 20 seconds. I still am kind of meh about this perk. It works, but not as well as I'd like it to. But again, when you combine it with Recharge, it's insanely strong. And then Destructive for another plus 20% explosive damage. And there are no mod slots on this bad boy. On to the gloves, again. Then we are using two-piece Araldi Holdings for the plus 10% accuracy and plus 10% headshot damage. The attributes for this are plus 12% LMG damage. The talents are destructive plus 20% explosive damage. A pretty straightforward pair of gloves. We're in the home stretch, agents. For the knee pads, this is the second Gila Guard, again activating the plus 5% total armor, plus 20% hazard protection. Attributes 14,532 armor. Could be better. Eh, still good. I like it. Talents braced while in cover. Weapon handling is increased by plus 25%. That is an important perk for us council peasants. If you are a PC player, you can swap this piece out because you probably won't need it. I mean, let's be real about it. You could really put anything else here you want, most likely like explosive damage or I forgot what the other one, the turtle plus 5% healing while in cover and yada yada. But for council, you do want this because this is what helps turn our LMG into a freaking laser beam. For our mod slots, we get two defensive with the Gila Guard knee pads. First one is plus 8,199 health, 5% skill health, and 8% health regen. The second slot is plus 5,686 armor, 2% protection from elites. Now I do realize on all my mods and whatnot that I have on here and some of the rolls are very, very high, but I have been farming for this set for two three weeks now and for the raid and whatnot so a lot of farming was involved to make this set it just was not slapped together everything was very very well thought out so let's get into the stats and then we'll get into our closing thoughts weapons 26,630 weapon damage 10% critical hit chance 25% critical hit damage 75% headshot damage 40 range 5.8 reload time a 0% reload speed bonus again don't really need that for how much extra free reloading we get 5% accuracy 50% stability offensive 30 30% weapon handling, 0% all weapon damage bonus, 0% assault rifle, blah blah blah, 37% LMG bonus damage, 15% SMG, doesn't matter, 0% shotgun, 0% marksman, 10% pistol, and eh. 0% rifle damage, 50% damage to elites, 0 armor damage, 0 health damage. Defense, 277,400 armor, 0% armor on kill, 0 armor regeneration, 113,852 max health, 0 health on kill, 61,480 health regeneration, 20% hazard protection, which like I said, I'd really like to see that go up, 20% bleed resistance, 20% blind death resistance, 40% burn resistance, 20% disorient resistance, 20% disrupt resistance, and 36% shock resistance. Wow, say that 30 times in a row. <laughs> and finally, skills, which we will talk about a little bit here in a minute. 64 skill power, 4% skill cooldown reduction, 64 drone, 64 chem, 64 pulse, 373 hive skill, 64 firefly, 1219 seeker mind skill power, 64 shield skill, 64 turret skill. Now I apologize for putting my skills here because I totally forgot to put them in and didn't realize it until I saw the skills list. So I'm basically just using the regular old reinforcer chem launcher. I don't have any mods on it because I can't get a battery for it. I, I'm kind of convinced they don't exist for the chem launcher. In Not the Raid, I'm just using the Cluster Seeker Mines. It has a plus 876 Seeker Skill Power Artillery Battery on it, plus 11% damage, and then a plus 3 Mines. And that's it for the Seeker. And then obviously for the Raid and whatnot, you are going to want to use the Reviver Hive, which I also don't really have anything for that, because I'm pretty sure I deleted most of the mods for it, because I'm an idiot. 
And well, that's pretty much it, my friends. Uh, I do really, really, really like this build a lot. It has been my go-to for the, about the past five days, which I honestly almost didn't post it because of, yeah, some of the subscribers will know that I wasn't sure if I was going to post this or not because Wids was actually talking about the main perk on my LMG and some of the stuff that you can do with it. And it was literally the day that I was going to post it. So I don't know. I don't want to get the whole copycat deal. I don't want to be toxic or anything, but this is my build. I didn't copy it from anywhere else, but I got to tell you, I love this build. It's amazing. And especially for a council player, man, you guys are going to love this because I'm sure you know as well as I do that LMGs are just so hard to control in this game. And I've seen a lot of LMG builds on PC where they're just laser beams. And then the only other stuff that I've seen on council players for LMG builds is like, hey, look, I got 135,000 damage on one shot to a headshot, but then they never show the weapon being fired like you cannot control an LMG that has that amount of damage on it with no stability no anything else on it you just can't you really can't do it not on council anyways you know at least I don't think you can maybe you can but I don't know I don't have the best aim in the world but with this man it's really really solid you know there's a lot of other stuff in this build that you can squeeze out damage squeeze out this squeeze out this here and there that's not bad but Either way, I love it. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. Stuff you would change, stuff maybe you would do differently, stuff, anything. Just let me know. And uh, also, with different suggestions, you're also helping other people out. Because, well, everybody else sifts through the comments and whatnot. Because, hey, that's YouTube. Either way, guys, please smash the like button. This video took way too long to make. Again, I'm sorry for putting the skills in there where I did, because I totally forgot to put them in because yeah i was just like i need to get this done and didn't want to make the video 16 17 minutes long which i'm sure now that i'm babbling right now it is going to end up that way sorry 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 hit the old like button for me if you could subscribe and all that other junk and i will catch you all on the flip side peace